Hello my friends, this is Jeannie. Welcome to my channel. For those who are returning visitors, welcome back and thank you. I want to share with you a recent purchase that I made. I purchased some dyes, specifically some Gina Marie design dyes. I have seen so many videos here on YouTube of fellow crafters sharing gorgeous products projects using Gina Marie dies and I have been making a list of dies by Gina Marie that I would like to have and recently decided to go ahead and treat myself to those dies. So let me share with you what I purchased. I saw this and thought it was absolutely adorable. It is like a spooky tree with a bat. Halloween is one of my favorite times or, or holidays or celebrations, whatever you want to call it, of the year. And I think this is going to be so much fun for flipbooks. So much fun. And um, I don't recall the dyes, the name of this particular dye. Honestly, I don't. Is it on here? Let's see. Maybe, 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 maybe. Oh, it's called the Spooky Tree Die Set. There you go. So there it is. Fun. I also purchased the... I, oh, no, no, no. Let me get the correct name. The six-piece Easter egg die set. How fun is that? Super sweet. I love the different designs. You have a solid. You have stripes. You have circles, flowers. It's just beautiful. Love that. This one is the artistic Easter egg die, and I love the size of this. I think it would be perfect for an ATC or um, mixed media project. I love just the design of it. It's different. Different. Love it. Then this puzzle die, and it's called a puzzle background die. I actually, the first time I saw this die was um Diane from Dighty Dice Crafty Corner um showed a couple of projects that she has uh, done using this die and I absolutely love it. It's so fun. I can't wait to to do some projects with my Girl Scouts or for my Girl Scouts with this particular die and I will share those projects as I make them. But love that. And then this one I don't know what is it with me. <laughs> Anything stitched or that leaves like a beautiful pattern um, in addition to, to cutting, I absolutely fall head over heels for. And I love this. You have a stitched moon, stars, clouds, sun. You have these cute little birds. Um, you have, um, I'm going to call these hillsides, but I don't know um, if that's technically the name for them. Um, Let's see. Stitch Sky Dyes is what it's called. And it is absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. So pick that up. And then the last two dyes I picked up um, are especially fun. I picked up this Easter banner. And it, it's, um, it's uh, let's see. Let's see if it has the name on it here. Do, do, do. Easter banner dye. There you go, right? <laughs> exactly what it is. And you have bunnies and carrots. Absolutely love that. And I will show you a project that I did using this die. Yes, I already started using the die. And then here we have the uh, Easter peep. Right? Is that what it's called? No, bunny peep die. And this was actually a freebie with purchase. Yeah. Isn't that amazing? And let me show you um, what I did with the peep die and with the banner die. Um, if you saw my Create With Me series on how I create flipbooks, um, then you would have seen this. But for those who haven't, I'll share it here. Um, this is that um, Easter banner. Oh, gosh. I, you know, I just told you the name of it, and I already forgot the name of it. Yeah, the Easter banner die. So, see, isn't that adorable? What I did was I cut the die using white cardstock and orange cardstock. Then I took the orange cardstock and I uh, snipped 
the little carrots off and I layered them on top of the white cardstock to create the, the, the colored carrots. Then I went in with a Wink of Stella uh, color brush marker. I think the color is Moonstone, um, which was recently gifted to me by a lovely subscriber, Megan. Um, I, I added some sparkle, used some bling to add some little tails on the bunnies because I wanted it to be the back side of the bunnies. If I wanted it to be the front side, I would have just added the eyes. But in this case, I wanted to, to, to show bunny tails. So that's what I made with that die. It was super quick, super easy, and so much fun. And I think it just lends so much cuteness to these uh, flip books. Love that. And then for the peeps, I used that peep die to cut out some peeps. And I just went in with a... Uh, a black marker and put in some eyes and a nose. It does come with the cuts, the die cuts for the little eyes and the nose, but I wanted to do um, just, I did it by hand. It was, you know, something I just enjoy doing. I did it by hand. So there you go. So they cut beautifully. They are so much fun to use and I can't wait to create more projects with them. So that is my entire purchase. It's not a big purchase, but it's a fun purchase, and I thought I would share it with you. Um, thank you so, so much for taking the time to stop by and watch my video. I truly do appreciate it, and I hope you will visit me again, my friends. Until next time, bye-bye.